Hello, today we try to solve an algebraic equation without solving the equation but with the help of ratio. For this, the constant is it should be a constant sum ratio. Means there is always a transaction of amount or the numbers between the two persons. Means total amount between A and B remains the constant. Here the question is A and B starts a game or a transaction with the sum numbers. A gives some amount to B, say the A gives X amount to B and their ratio turns to be 2 is to 3. Next line, if they transfer the same amount A to B, the ratio becomes 1 is to 2. So the first question, if the transaction happens again, if again A transfers some amount to B or the same amount to B, what would be the ratio or they can ask what was the initial ratio before the transaction. So can I say if A and B assumed random condition has a 10 and 20 rupees if and total summation is 30 if A transfer rupees 5 so A becomes 5 B becomes 25 again the total transaction sum is 30 so if you have a constant sum transaction of amounts between A and B we can solve this by the ratio by algebra the equation would be for this we can make a minus x and b plus x equal to 2 by 3 here again the transaction of x so a minus 2x upon b plus 2x becomes 1 is to 2 okay so and by this we have to find the value of either a is to b or a minus 3x plus b plus 3x or if you have ratio like this where well the summation of numerator and denominator is same a plus b a plus b then it's a ratio game first we have to make summation should be constant so by solving this just like write these diagrams like 2 is to 3 1 is to 3 transaction of x x and x or any value you have a value depends on the questions add these two this is 5 this is 3 so there are no same cons summation so we just multiply 3 the value of summation of the other ones and here 2 plus 3 is 5 we just multiply 5 and finally we get the value of a is to b is for 3 is a 6 for this one is 9 this one is 5 this one is 10 so the summation is 15 15 we have constant sum and check what happens right now in the ratio it is minus 1 this is plus 1 why minus 1 plus 1 due to value of x so the x is nothing but 1 we just get within a seconds it's a 1 first make 5 cross multiply 3 cross multiply you will get a ratio 6 is to 9 5 is to 10 say it's a ratio check the what's happening in the ratio it's minus 1 plus 1 due to the exchange of x so our x is nothing but 1 now solve the question if the same amount transfers means we have again minus 1 plus 1 this is 6 is to 11 so our answer is for this question the next ratio would be 6 is to 11 there is no need to solve the question by equations if what was the initial ratio means after transferring the same amount x that is minus 1 and the plus 1 we are getting 6 is to 9 so this would be definitely 10 is to 8 sorry 7 is to 8 so our initial ratio was 7 is to 8 I hope it is clear make summation equal by the cross multiplying the values and work according to the question I hope it is clear let's try to solve two questions on the basis of this concept okay check the question here the transfer of minus x and plus x then the plus 2x and minus 2x we have a ratio so I just write the value a and b minus x with this with a minus x it's a 6 is to 7 then again what a plus 2x with this value plus 2x we have 3 is to 2 so first it's again a same transaction so we have to equal the summation we have 13 and 5 so I will multiply 5 because the summation is 5 and the reverse summation is 13 so multiply 13 what we get finally is 30 35 what we get is 39 and 26 say this is nothing but plus of 9 
this is nothing but minus of 9 now we have to check what happens earlier first a minus x this is a plus 2x assume this is a minus x this is a plus 2x so here the gap is what plus of 3x for the a I am just checking for the a so plus of 3x equal to 9 so we can say x is nothing but 3 we I am just working with a a minus x is 30 a plus 2x is equal to 39 so the gap is minus x to plus 2x we are working on a, a is plus 3x minus x plus 3x equal to 2x so plus 3x is equal to 9 so x is equal to 3 what is our next question we have to work on the minus 2x means if we work on minus 2x here minus plus 2x to minus 2x means we have to minus 4x or here we can do minus x to minus 2x is minus x so better would be work on this this is a minus x and we are looking for a minus 2x where the x is nothing but 3 so with the minus 3 our value is 27 with the plus 3 our value is 38 so our final answer for the a minus 2x b minus x is 27 is to 38 I hope it is clear if you have any doubt rewind the video and check it again if a gives some amount to b I don't know what a is giving say the x some amount to b it is 3 is to 7 fine if a again gives the same amount to b means again a transfer to x with this it's a 2 is to 9 what was the initial ratio question is this means this is nothing but a minus x this is a minus 2x because xx we are gap of 2 summation is 10 summation is 11 so I multiply 11 here I multiply 10 here finally we get a is to b at this stage is 33 77 at this stage it is 20 and 90 what the gap is gap of 13 so we can say x is 13 and a minus x is 33 with the x is 13 so this is what 46 this is what a total summation is sorry 11 and 10 so this is plus 13 if we are going this is the minus 13 we will go is 64 so the initial ratio of a is to b is 46 is to 64 this is after simplifying we will get 20 so just you have to make summation constant by the cross multiplying check what's happening minus x or plus x and apply this difference this is the ratio constant sum game okay if you have any doubt you can ping me on facebook all the in the video Thank you.